Welcome back, my home cooks and chef, to the Urban Culture Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be doing something special. Today, you know, today we're gonna to do a little, a little something different. Yeah, the scenery is a little bit different. We did some upgrading and everything like that. So today we're gonna to be doing some chicken pot pie. We're gonna do a chicken pot pie one on one on how to do it. Great dish for the family, especially you know, what I'm saying on a weekend or for the kids. Very, you know, what I'm saying hearty dish. So first we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, uh, getting this dish ready for the dough. So what you do is this is you know a, a, a pie crust dough that you can get from the store frozen. Make sure you allow it to get room temperature, you know, like that. You know, so this this uh, recipe consists of two of them. So one is going to be for the bottom crust and one one is going to be for the top crust. You know how it is. I like my crust on my heat. I mean my anything. You know what I'm saying? I eat. So you know, especially on this pot pie. So this chicken pot pie is a real simple and easy one, real great ingredients and stuff like that. So we're gonna get into it. You know, if y'all wanna see the, the full uh, ingredients, they will be in the description below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of my weekly dishes, you guys. But this is gonna be a special one, so follow me along as I go through, you know what I'm saying, making this dish. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do too is try to fit this to size for the bottom of the pan. So. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, let it get room temperature, roll it out. You know, so that's what I'm doing right now, just try to roll it out. You know, uh, make sure it's like, make, you know, room temperature, like I said, so it can thaw, but you don't want it too room temperature because it'll be too loose for you when you uh, pull it apart. You're gonna have to add, add some flour so it won't be so sticky. So just take your time with it. There's not nothing kind of uh, rush about it, you know, uh, with this. It's just, uh, I mean, really nice. And so once you get it to a certain point, you just start rolling it out you know, uh, and getting it to where you want it to. So that's all I'm gonna do right now is uh, finish rolling it out. You know, um, this is a pretty good dough. Now you can make dough, you know what I'm saying, from scratch and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying, why, why you know what I'm saying, work harder, not smarter. So we're gonna be working smarter today. You know, uh, uh, you know, time is precious. A lot of time we ain't got time to be trying to be do some long drawn out dinner, you know, especially we got hungry folks. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever get a little crack in here and stuff like this thing, you know what I'm saying, very pliable, it can come back together. So what we're gonna do is, you know, uh, uh, get, get a pan, a dish about this size. You know what I'm saying, put, it, put them at the bottom. I mean, put it on top of your dough. And I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this because uh, uh, um, this is one way to be able to get your dough in your pan, you know what I'm saying, smoothly without having no issues. And stuff like that. So check it all around. Make sure it's evenly around the circle of the, the pie crust. So what I'm gonna do is on each corner of the pan, I'm gonna cut a slit. So I'm gonna cut a slit on all sides, all the way around. You'll see once I uh, um, uh, turn it around why I did that. So I'm just gonna make sure I got all the slits in the sides and that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, is open it up and I'm gonna show you why I did that. So let me uh, take this off real quick and put it back down. Now, the same area that you had sliced it, put it back in the same corners because this is one way you can fit it down into your pan. So once you do that, you just push down. This helps it along, the, the, the cuts helps along with it. You know, and once it's down in there, like I said, you just push it up against the sides of the pan for the pot pot. You know, so make sure you don't have no bubbles in it and stuff like that. So just press down all the way around so you got it to where you like. And uh, and that's it, guys. And then what we do is we're gonna put this to the side and get ready to assemble, you know, this pot pie with, you know, all the ingredients. So, all right, you guys. So it's pretty much just ready. You know, uh, it's supposed to look like that. You know, have crust all the way around it and stuff like that. You can actually, Push it up the sides, you know what I'm saying, to make sure it's fully up, you know, on top of it, you know. And that'll be about it, you guys. Now I'm gonna move on to, you know what I'm saying, uh, assembling these uh, ingredients. So I'm gonna move this to the side. Alrighty. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be sauteing the onions first before we assemble this together. So let's uh, uh, use, I, mean, I got some uh, avocado oil, so what we're gonna do is pour it in. Gonna do is now we got the oil into the pan. We're gonna add our onions. We're trying to saute our onions and stuff like that. You know, mix them around, saute the onions. 
We're gonna add our uh, garlic. Well, guys, it smells great. You know, uh, we're gonna let it uh, render down a little bit. You know, uh, um, with the onions and everything like that. And then I'm, I'll be adding in the carrots next. You know, uh, into into it. So yeah, you know, as this cooks, we're gonna let this cook down a little bit. You know, we don't want it to cook through because the rest of the cooking is gonna be in the in the uh, the sauce and you know the cream and the peas and everything once we put everything together. So we just try to get a little bit of translucent when we uh, uh, cooking it down and stuff like that. And after we do that, we're gonna be adding in the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we're gonna be adding in the peas and carrots. So these are frozen peas and carrots. So you know you can get them from any local uh, grocery store and stuff like that. Pretty uh, simple and stuff. Uh, uh, like I said, these are really pretty similar ingredients. You see, they're real colorful. You know, um, you just stir them around in there. You know, because like I said, the rest of the cooking, normally with a pot pie, everything is already pre done. All you're doing is just make sure you're cooking the, the, uh, uh, the crust. So, all right, we're gonna, what we're going to do next is add in the chicken. Now, this chicken right here that I got is actually a smoked chicken I did on the grill and stuff like that. So uh, uh, it got a little smoke flavor and everything. So it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I did like about, you know what I'm saying, doing it, cause it gives it a different flavor, a different twist on it. You know, um, so, you know, guys that like the barbecue and everything like that, maybe you could try this out with your chicken or if you have some leftover chicken. What I'm doing is adding in some chicken bouillon. So this is about uh, uh, two tablespoons of bouillon, chicken bouillon. This enhances the flavor and everything like that. You know, so make sure you use Chicken bouillon, you guys, and uh, just stir it in, you know, with all the rest of your ingredients, because we're gonna add the the uh, next ingredients, you know, next. What I use, you know, a lot of people use a lot of cream or different types of stuff. Way, but I, what I use is cream of mushroom, you know, what I'm saying from Campbell's and stuff like that. Really simple, like I said, ingredients. You know, what I'm saying don't make this thing situation hard. You know, what I'm saying if you want to do it from scratch, you can. But this, you know what I'm saying, we talk about a home meal that's really simple that, you know, that you can cook, you know, uh, for anyone and enjoy, even if you just want to cook for yourself. So, yeah, just uh, add the cream of mushroom in. Just want to add one large uh, can, about 22 ounces of, um, you know, cream of mushroom. You know, and that's about it. And then we're gonna do is mush mix in the rest of the ingredients. Mix all these in together, and uh, once they all together, you know, say they're gonna be we're gonna be ready to assemble everything into the uh, uh, the the pan. So this is pretty easy. What you see, you see. So this, like I said, mix it around till all everything is incorporated together, and then it'll be done, you guys. So this is the time, really, right now, that you would turn off your eye because, the, like I said, the rest of the cooking will be done in the oven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be turning turning it off and just mix the, everything in. Cause you know, there's no, there's no need for no more cooking. Cause everything pretty much is cooked up. You know, so we wanna make sure it's ready to put in our pot pie. All right you guys, so what we're gonna do now is get the dough ready. What we're gonna do is we gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. What we're gonna do is, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, cook this dough so it can be crispy. A lot of times, this is a good tip I like because people sometimes just put this in, and all, you know, right now, but they wonder why they bottom and they crust is be so kind of soggy and stuff like that. Is because, you know what I'm saying, the dough, the dough is not all the way cooked, so when you're cooking it, you know, it's going to be uh, uh, the ingredients that's going to be in there, the chicken uh, uh, ingredients, chicken pop ingredients, will sog in the bottom of the dough where it keeps it kind of, you know, soggy. So what you want to do is, just, you know, say, prick it at the bottom, you know, stick it with a fork, you know, say, poke holes on the bottom, just so it won't rise, you know what I'm saying? And this is a good way to go about doing it, because mind you, it's going to shrink because it's dough, you know what I'm saying? But what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't, this prevents bubbles at the bottom of your pie. So this is a great, great uh, uh, tip for, even bacon pies or anything like that, you know, because by you, there still is a, a pie crust uh, uh, um, ingredient. I mean, uh, recipe, you know, pie pie. So what I'm doing is, is you know, I'm pre get pre uh, um, heating the oven right now at 350 degrees. So we're gonna stick this in the oven for about a good probably five to ten minutes to let it get, you know, say cooked a little bit through. So when it does cook, because the the the, the top of the crust is, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, exposed to the heat more than the bottom part. So it's kind of like chicken, you know what I'm saying, you cook the chicken breast down and, uh, you know, they cook at different temperatures. So, you know, we're gonna uh, get ready to stick this in the oven. 
So all right, you guys. So after this is done, we're gonna finish the, uh, assembling everything. And, uh, after we're done. All right, so now that the crust has been, you know, pre-cooked and everything like that, you know, um, still is hard. You know, we're gonna be uh, uh, putting the pot pie together. So let's, you know, say scoop it out and uh, fill it up. So we're gonna be filling it. You know, hooking up this uh, filling. Oh, it's looking good. Shoot. And I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, please follow the, the, these instructions. These, it's, it's very simple and easy. Don't make this complicated if you don't have to. And uh, fill this bad boy up. It may like it may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Once you start putting it in there, putting it in your pans, you know, uh, um, make sure you keep your oven on 350 degrees so we can finish this off in the oven. All right, you guys. So let me uh, finish uh, putting all these ingredients in. I'm almost done. Yep. You know, uh, uh, smells good. It smells wonderful. That that grilled chicken that we had, it was about, you know what I'm saying, a half a chicken. I mean, it was not a half a chicken, I apologize. It was a whole chicken shredded. So, um, you know, I, I didn't mention it earlier, so I wanted to make sure I let you know that, yeah, this was a whole chicken shredded. And uh, believe me, you know what I'm saying, this, that's all you need. You know, uh, you can go smaller if you just want to do individual Popeyes for your uh, uh, guests or whatever like that, if you have anybody. But uh, this is a good dinner dish. You know, so like I said, for your family, a family dish, very hearty, you know what I'm saying, family dish for anybody. So, you know, I hope you guys really like making this dish. I know I do. I like Pit Popeye. You know, I've tried it with KFC, you know what I'm saying? KFC is all right. <laughs> you know, to me, I like the crust at the top and bottom. And some of the store-bought ones, they okay. I just don't like them frozen. You know, most of them are frozen. So now what you want to do is uh, put your dough, pie, dough crust on top. So uh, what I did was I uh, 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 put a little indent on the side. And so what I do is, I, you know, to make a little, you know, design or whatever like that, just roll it up on the sides, you know, like that. And, you know, be, 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 and be careful, your pot, your, you know, after taking out the oven will be hot. So be very aware of that. You know, so, so just press it down and stuff like that. I'm not gonna make it too uh, cute yet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, roll it up, you guys. As much as you can, and uh, stick it down. You know, push it down, and just go around it. You know, and uh, do all your sides the same exact way. So you know, so tuck your corners of your pot pie. All right. So I'm gonna show you a little uh, tr trick of what I do. Just go around and press it within your fork. You know, just to make a little pot pie design and keep going. And um, just keep doing it like this. All right, so that's how you get that little design, a little pot pie design. And just keep going to your finish. All right. And what you want to do, and don't forget, is make sure you slice uh, like about four holes in the center. You know what I'm saying? So it can breathe as it's. Finishing off cooking. On top, of it makes it looks nice, you know, when you uh, put it in the oven. So, all right, you guys. So, the oven is on 350 degrees. We're gonna uh, finish this off till it's golden brown on top. This one shouldn't take that long, but we're gonna put it on about 10 minutes, you know, 10 minutes, you know, uh, cooking time, and check back and see if it's golden brown and fully cooked. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, we'll see you when this is done. Right before we put it in the oven, make sure we want to put a little egg wash on top. You know, so this helps it, you know what I'm saying, get a little golden, you know, color and stuff like that. So just wipe it all over, you know, all over your, uh, your top of your crust and stuff like that. This is a little, another trick of the trade that you can do is, uh, this is how people had a little, nice little sheen on top. We got a little shine to it and stuff like this. So just go all over, all over your, uh, uh, your pie crust on the top of it. You know, until it's fully covered. When we after this is done, we're gonna be putting this in the oven. And now that the pot pie is uh, done and out of the oven, you know it came out really golden brown. So, you know, um, all it needed was about a good 15 to 20 minutes. So, put it on about 15 minutes and check it to see. Once it gets golden brown, you don't need to go too far from that because you don't want to burn the edges of your crust. You know, uh, so make sure that you know what I'm saying you check on it. All right. So what we're gonna do is is you know what I'm saying, get ready to serve this up. But you guys, this is an excellent dish. A chicken pot pie, 
you know what I'm saying, from scratch. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, recipe. I know I did, you know what I'm saying, I'm ready to you know, serve me up some. But, um, you know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I'll see you guys in the next dish. This is KC from the Urban Culture Kitchen, and I will see you in the next dish.